Right then guys, back to one of these phone videos. Uh, I always do these when I haven't got enough time to do editing and set everything up. I've been in London all day with Hamza, filming with Hamza and his team. That was really cool. First time me and Hamza have ever met, that, I, so I loved it. We had a great day, talked so much business stuff, you know, so many plans moving forward. Um, talking of business plans, 1M House, there's just so few places left now, guys, that we've even created a 12-month payment plan. So the last few people, maybe if you were on the fence, you couldn't afford it. We just, you know, we'll get you over the line that way if you're really desperate to be in. Um, it works out to be a little bit more expensive over 12 months. So existing members, don't worry. It's not, you know, you haven't missed out on a 12-month plan. You've actually got it cheaper, but it's just a more manageable payment setup. I think it's around about £280 a month. So we just want to get, you know, those final few people over the line. So we can hit 300 members and get this launched now, guys, because we've got a, a bid that we've put in on the house. We put in an offer. Um... We just want our final few members over the line so that we can say, okay, we've got our final 300s, you know, let's actually go and do this. Um, otherwise, we're going to launch and then have to bring those people in afterward. It's just, I, I just want one thing done, move on. I, I like it when it's methodical. I just want to get over to, I won't tell you the location yet, but I just want to get over to the first house. Set up the gym, you know, be vlogging it. Like Matt does fitness stars. I just want to be vlogging like the house renovation, showing you guys everything that's happening, the build up to the launch party. I just want to get that done now. So, you know, we're on the road to that. So if you really want to get in last few places, they're available now, guys. So just check out the links below or go to the website and get some more information. We've got some unbelievable brand ambassadors that want to be representing this idea. They love the idea. The thing's going to be massive. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, you guys know supplements below. The stream platform now has 2,000 members, which is really cool. And uh, the course, I just added three new videos, and I'll add another three tomorrow because I'm back home now, and probably three the day after that. But three new ones just went live, so go and check that out, guys. Either way, let's jump into this video. So this video is going to be kind of like a three-pronged approach where I'm going to use three different first-man concepts or 1M concepts, which... You know, I always tell you guys, you know, if you're 30 years old, you're actually 12 years old. Now, I truly believe that. And I think it's fantastic. And it actually puts things into perspective. So if you're turning 30 and you're panicking, you've only had 12 years, right? It's not it's not actually that bad. You know, everything before that is pre-season. You're kind of just warming up. You're kind of just, you know, getting in, getting yourself trained up, ready for the actual big leagues, which is the male advantage years, the years that actually matter. However, it's a double-edged sword because... I've been telling you guys a lot lately about maturity, and I said that guys that are more successful, they mature quicker. Uh, it, direct correlation, I'm telling you, direct correlation. Now, you don't want to be the guy in life, it's not bad, but you don't want to be the guy in life that turns 48 and finally becomes successful. That's okay, you know, you're going to give your kids a good life, but if you want a good life yourself, and I'm talking traveling the world, maybe, you know, beautiful women on your arm multiple properties around the world. If you want to be the guy who's young, handsome, in shape in a Ferrari, you know, that's, that's something that a lot of guys want to strive for. You, don't, you know, you don't necessarily want to be the guy who turns 60 and goes and buys a Ferrari and it just looks like a kind of, you know, terrible late life decision or a midlife crisis, crisis if the guy's like in his 50s or something. It just doesn't look too good. So I know a lot of you want to be young, you know, in shape, handsome and successful all at once. Well, you guys know the pressures, right? If you're 21 or over, you'll know. The day you turn 21, everyone was on your ass. Everyone was like, hey, this stops now. You know, this kind of like messing around lifestyle. You've got to go and get a job. You've got to move out. You can't be here anymore. You think I'm going to pay for you? And it's just like overnight, it just snaps. Everyone just says, oh, education, enjoy yourself, go out drinking, you're young, whatever. You turn like 21, 22, and overnight, everyone's on your ass trying to say like, what are you doing with your life? You need to sort your shit out. You need to get a real job. You, you don't think I'm going to fund you for the rest of your life. And it hits you like a ton of bricks. So this is what I'm saying about it being a double-edged sword is that, yeah, before 18, you can't really do anything. You can't really feed yourself. You can't pay your own bills. You're not going to kick yourself because at five years old, you didn't start a business, travel the world and, you know, find the love of your life. There's nothing you can do about that, right? But once you turn 18, your life is in your control, so yeah, you've only got 12 years until you're 30. So technically you turn 30, you're only 12 years old. You shouldn't kick yourself about it. But the point of this video that I want to make to you guys is you don't have seven years to get pissed up. I truly mean that, right? You don't have seven years to waste because 
everybody wants to make the most of these male advantage years. You know, you can do it later and whatnot, but I know all of you, including me, want to make the most of the male advantage years. So, yeah, when you turn 30, you're only technically 12 years old. However, that's great. Use that because then your mentality is going to be better, right? But like I said, it's a double-edged sword because you only have 12 years. Because before that, you can't do it. Like I said, it's not your fault you can't do anything before that. But double-edged sword, you can't do anything before that. You know, there's not a lot you can do. How many guys do you know that are like 15, 16 and killing it in life? It just doesn't happen that often, right? It's like one in a billion that makes it happen. So when you turn 18, you've got to sort your shit out quick. And this is what I mean about the guys who mature quicker, get their life sorted quicker. You know, they're, they're, they're more successful in life because they just figure it out early. You know, and other guys might overtake them. Like there might be some guy who's 55 years old, he becomes a billionaire. But it's like during those years where it really mattered, you guys know what I mean, where you can have that fun life, you can have the cool shit. You can really just ball out of control and just do whatever you wanted to do and travel the world consequence free. Those are the years you want to be ahead of the game on. And it's the guys who mature quicker that, you know, obviously get there quicker because they figure it out. They're like, I don't really want to be going out drinking and whatnot. And actually, one of the guys in the 1M House group chat, Mike, uh, I'm going to make a proper video on this, actually. But he was saying to me earlier that he was just kind of chilling at home and people like he realized he was like, actually, I don't really go out that much. And people always ask him, how have you got money? How have you got like nice stuff? And he said he was sat there and he realized, like, I don't really go out. I don't really spend it on, like, nightclubs and alcohol. And me and him were saying that, you know, there's, there's like, kebabs and taxis. And then everyone gets a haircut and they buy, like, new clothes for the night out and whatnot. Before you know who you are, you're probably spending, like, a thousand pound a month on getting drunk. And, like I said, you don't really have time. But you also don't have money to waste in that seven-year bracket. And I say seven years because most people, they say, oh... I'll, I'll, drink, I'll, I'll do this party lifestyle till I'm 25 and then I'll tone it down. Like I said, you just don't have those seven years to waste. If, if, you know, if, you turn, if you turn 18 and now suddenly your life is in your control, it's not long until your male advantage years. It's only 12 years. Like you're only 12 years old at 30 in my opinion. You just don't have those seven years to go, hey, I'm just going to waste them. Yeah. I've said to you guys before, there's a massive difference between patience uh, and being lazy. Now, going out and getting drunk for seven years is laziness, 100%, like wasting your life and being, you know, when you're young, people always say to you, you got time, you'll be fine, whatnot. I've said this to you guys, but that form of you've got time, messing around and wasting years, that's laziness. Patience is different. Patience is you're working on things nonstop and they just haven't come together yet. They haven't materialized. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, that takes time. If, if you go from 18 to 25 and you're not successful yet, but you've been working on things, you've been in the gym, you're, you know, you're just trying to learn life. Like, that's fine. That's patience. But if you're going out, getting drunk, living that party lifestyle, that's laziness. Because you don't have seven years to waste. Because you'll turn 25 and you'll go, right, let me sort my shit out before my like major years in life where it really matters. Oh, I've got five years to do all of that. It's just not going to happen. Plus... You don't have seven years to ruin your body because, yeah, you can do a body transformation at fucking 50 if you want. You could probably turn it all around with, you know, different tips and tricks and the correct lifestyle. But do you want to do you want to be playing catch up? You know, if you're 25 years old and you're fat, you've gone to uni, you've put on a ton of weight, you don't look as good as you possibly could. You're all puffy and whatnot. You're like 25 percent body fat and you go, do you know what? I'm going to join the gym, even if you get in crazy shape. You still I don't think you're going to be as lean as you possibly could. Because once you've got those fat cells, apparently, according to science, you can't get rid of them. You can only shrink them and grow them. Now, I think over a long period of time, you can actually get rid of them. But the science isn't there because, you know, nobody's going to do a study over 10 years of consistent fitness. Like most people don't do that. So you just wouldn't know. And anybody who does do that is probably in shape to begin with anyway. So it's a very hard study to get your hands on. I don't think it'll ever be done in a controlled environment. Somebody might do it personally, but it'll be very hard to do. So, you know, do you want to be gaining all that fat for seven years and enjoying yourself and saying, hey, I'm young, I'm having the party lifestyle, I'm just going to enjoy myself, waste all my money, live while I'm young, I'm free. But like I said to you, you're 12 years old at 30. Great. That's a bonus. Mentally, like that's a mental thing. That's why I told you guys about that. Mentally, it's like, wow, I'm so young. Yeah, you are. But you, you don't have seven years to waste either because it's a double-edged sword. You know, you're only 12 years old. Because those early years of the, your life mean nothing. However, those early years of your life 
mean nothing. <laughs> like, do you see what I mean about the double-edged sword? So you get to 18, it's like, go! Straight away, you just put on the chopping block, and everyone's like, sort your shit out, go! And that amplifies like 100x as a man at 21. So, you know, as much as it helps you mentally, and you might be a guy who's just turned 30, and you're like, I haven't really, you know, mastered life or whatever, yeah, you do have to motor. And for you younger guys, it's like, okay, let's, let's put the work in now. I don't have time to waste. Yeah, I, I'll only be 12 years old at 30, but... God damn, like, that's only a 12-year window. Do you know the average guy, the average success story to become, like, a millionaire or a successful business? I think it's, like, 12 years on average. So you, the day you turn 18, if you started a business of your own or you, you know, got into a 9-to-5 career and just worked your balls off, by the time you turn 30, you would, you'd have, like, almost the perfect life on average with the average person if things went well. Most people aren't doing that. Most people definitely aren't doing that. So you definitely need the mentality of I'm only 12 so it doesn't drive you crazy because, you know, if you, you aren't successful by 30, it's not the end of the world. Like you are chopping into your male advantage years, but it's pretty normal. Most people don't do it. But the message I want to heed to you guys is you don't have those years to waste. You know, if you, if you worked hard for like 10, 9, 8 of those years, you'd be like, hey, I've done my best. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of my situation. I did like eight or nine and yeah, things worked out. I became successful. I was kind of lucky in different senses and whatnot. Not everyone can follow the same career path. But if you knew that you wasted seven of them, you know, if not more, just going out and getting drunk and doing the party lifestyle, not living the right, the correct way and just ruining your body along the way and making it harder for yourself to play catch up on the other end, that's not a nice situation. And I know I've made a lot of videos on it recently, but just mature quicker, which I know sounds like, what mature? What sort of advice is that? But you can fast track yourself to maturity by just reminding yourself every single day, I need to be living differently. You know, the people you're around, the way that you're living will change your mentality and it will change the way you start thinking about the world, which in turn will mature you quicker. You know, maturity is just a way of thinking. That's all it is. It's just what's your first thought? Are you emotional? Are you logical? Like that's all maturity is. It's got no reflection on age. It's more just who the person is and how quickly you develop and how how quickly you want to develop. You know, are you open to the idea of developing and whatnot? So that's my advice to you guys in this video is open your mind to developing, mature quicker. You know, get away from those friends that just want to go out on weekends and do coke and just, you know, drink to oblivion and they're hungover and they're, you know, they're hungover on a Sunday and they're just waking up. They can't get out of bed. It's like, you don't want to be surrounded by those people because it's just a waste of your time. And like I said, yeah, when you turn 30, you're only 12 years old. Use that mentally. It will keep you sane. Honestly, it will keep you in the game. It's one of the best things that I ever used. However, double-edged sword, you only have 12 years from the day you turn 18 until you turn 30. It's not a huge amount of time, especially when the average success story takes 12 years. Mature quicker. Get your shit sorted. There's a big difference between patience and laziness. Make sure you're doing the right one. I'll speak to you guys soon. And, uh, you know, if you want to sign up to 1M House, like I said, last few places, links are below, 12-month payment plan. Just can't wait to just finish off this 300 and get this house launched, guys. Anybody, anybody who does sign up, can't wait to see you in the WhatsApp group and the launch party. So see you soon, guys.